What's going down, AMD family and world? I know right now this is an interesting time we're all living in in Staycation 2020, and I got some really good news for the AMD department for patches. Hands down, I'm just gonna go ahead and get into this as a little bit of a spoiler alert of the episode. This is probably one of the best drivers I've tested to date on AMD, and it was really fun to have the coordination with now figuring out the windows and fluctuation between their patchable points getting to this, but I'm gonna show some really fun stuff, some highlights and what we're getting into. My name is Mac, you're here at the MacGyver 7 channel. If you're brand new, welcome. We're gonna go ahead and be covering the patch notes, some benchmarks, and just well-rounded AMD news. So let's go ahead and get to it, shall we? So one of the things I thought was really interesting, and then this came in, I thought, when I saw the release thing and I saw April 1st, I was like, wait a minute, hold on. This may be an April Fool's joke. A Brock solid, like, GPU update where your uh, graphics card is just going to be smooth for like six hours plus with some high FPS and it's a brand new update. They kind of started filtering out on April 1st. You start kind of chuckling a little bit, you know? But we got some brand new news and let's go ahead and jump into those patch notes But I wanted to highlight it that this came out before it even trickled out on the second that I got the official update through For my GPU at least so maybe they had a 57 XT and they seem to be one of the favorite cards nowadays uh, But let's go ahead and jump into what AMD is offering for as far as the news and, and just if you wanted to see that's the stats of their time. I, I was like really impressed I was like damn dude seven hour haul and nothing not even like a blink of the screen, and I noticed some really bad screen differs as Windows continued to update on top of the GPU perfection that they had, because they had a really good update, but I mean, this one's just, as long as Windows doesn't screw this up, because I'll show you the trends in the end with the GPU benchmarks, it's crazy. I love perousing the AMD subreddits because they are really awesome and they have a great commu tech community that's out there, and you might be among them watching today, and if so, awesome, cool, welcome, cheers. But looking at this, one of the cool things that is, as promised, an update. And first and foremost, they have been getting a lot of feedback that the recent chip driver has been quite good. The installment has been planned to publish within April 7th, so it seems like me and a few other people have been rolled out this a little earlier. So if you haven't gotten this and you're watching it early, oh man, get ready to, to start your downloads. So, with Resident Evil added support, and they're waiting to get into the... 20.4.1 update of the Adrenaline Radeon software that we have at our fingertips. The 20.3.1 was a really good standing update, and quite frankly, I was very happy to push that out to my community and tech community, which I think is amazing. m 7 ites you're so cool. Even don't even have to go to school. I can actually say that now. Ah. Anyways, looking at the portions of the education for as far as fixes, we can see Overwatch and Heroes in the Storms have made a great improvement for as far as the black screens and the application hangups while gaming in the extended periods for some of the Radeon RX Vega series. The graphics productions and those configurations, the HDR that may fail between the enabling detection inside of the application between the Vulcan VPI should be hopefully a VIP as the API once was a big issue. Uh, Doom Eternal meets the fall to launch because it's going to fail at that fall no more. It's going to situationally get into the hybrid in the graphics and the system configuration. So it seems like it might have a little bit of the correspondence of the API, which is kind of like your advanced graphics microized in a situation where they're kind of getting towards that stack technology which is pretty sexy when you look at the future technology is going to grow so much cooler one of these days and we're going to see it happen looking at that portion we can see that the radeon live in the streams that may fail to launch or may crash when the system sessions is started with the performance and the metrics overlay enabled looking at the clock values and the failed populate portions for the limited number of graphics and the product and the Radeon set for settings you can see that the information inside that tab looking at the situation of what you're looking at the hotkeys these can no longer be assigned to a single digit or character as has been able to create a block or cause interference with inside of the default inside of Windows so if you're kind of having those hang up with those hotkeys you're gonna to have to readjust and come out to a new world it seems like they finally figured out that maybe they were messing around with windows and windows was messing around with them and maybe we will stop seeing the windows shuffle the truffle shuffle 
But who knows? You'll have to subscribe to find out for the next update after this, because this one's pretty sweet. They'll keep updating. But now the known issues. When we push past the very last fix issue, which was the Radeon FreeSync premium support display may not be listed inside the refresh inside of that situation of the windows. Now it should be premiumly enabled inside of your OSD settings. Now looking at for as far as the known issues, as we pull up the charter, it's not as big as you normally would think. It's actually quite good, which means they're starting to knock off some other things. But I would like to say, if you are experiencing some issues even past this portion and it's not listed on there, drop a comment down below. I would always love to hear what you have to say. Sometimes I may not be as fast as I want to to get to response because I do work an essential job as well as just like a hustling job ethic myself. So I, I'm definitely doing a lot nowadays more than I ever did before. So you have to apologize for my tardiness sometimes with the comments. But I do know that a lot of other techies definitely do tune in and chime in on these comments too. So if you have an issue, there's a great community that's within my community and if you are the community that's answering that cheers to you i appreciate you guys and gals you're my wings and the wind while i'm just like scoping out what's going down <laughs> but looking at the situation past this let's go ahead and zoom back in to our known issues with already having the situation for as far as the advanced situation will sync in the black screens that occur during the games in some system configurations the enhanced sync enable disable that for a temporary workaround that's been a known issue that they've had so at least maybe they're working on it and as we've been seeing some progress on this so far we probably will see some cool stuff in the next like who knows maybe we'll see a 20.5.1 they'll just skip the variations and just work and hustle i'm cool with that Sometimes AMD, you don't gotta rush. It could be like a fine wine. That's what NVIDIA does. They're just very precise, but it seems like there's a lot more frequent um, fixable issues sometimes that people can have with the generationable card gaps that we have with AMD. Nothing bad with that. It just means they have a lot more to look at when they're trying to do updates for a singular, either it's a laptop, mobile, or the situation of getting into like an actual PC situation. Either all are applicable, cool, but have different outlook tests and performance points. Looking at the US portions of the edge of the web browser, you can see that the playback and the video content and the display may have some experience in the crashes and experience portion. And I mean that just like in a general point right now, the nets is just kind of, it's at its full maximum capacity. Uh, everyone's kind of on it right now so looking at past that situation you also have a runaway application that can accelerate in the video content that causing the system black screen yet again for the potential workaround disable those accelerations for having those enabled now i wanted to point that out because that was i kind of fell into the sync issue but i didn't want to classify that as a if you are experienced that you do have a way out of this uh utilizing the performance metrics overlays with a rotman there's always been an incorrect for as far as the higher experienced idol on the RX 5700 series card is that has become more mature. They've had that issue. Now looking at for as far as the Radeon 7, it doesn't make the list as much and my card seems to be just getting better and better. It's it's very well aging really well. AMD is making good on their promise. We're trying to push it farther. And I'd love to hear from the other community of people that I know you are out there that you have your Radeon 7s. How's it hanging out? How's it doing? What's your favorite game that it likes to play with, you know? Um, but looking at past that portion of it, we can see that the HDMI scaling in the sliders for as far as the causing the FPS may become locked to 30. Now looking at a more closer look, the 5000 series of the RX line makes the list for the experience shutters and intermediate points of what you may experience. The desktop in game corrupted portion of may be occurring in the HDR when it's enabled you may want to disable disable toggle maybe it might work but still an issue they're kind of trying to get into the Vega series in the RX line makes the list twice for coming down to the TDRs one for as far as the instant replay when it's enabled potential workaround for the users experiencing issues to disable yet again the instant replay now looking at for as far as the TDR when looking at the multiple tasking is the alt tab system inside of the situation going experience some situations now crash and hangups and again in the edge browser for netflix has been approved i guess a prevalent issue i can kind of say that rule that because it's been on this list a, a while now looking at the users for as far as experiencing the black screens that we may be situationally experiencing for as far as the extended gameplays i would very well like to hear what people were experiencing because from what i'm reading it's actually gotten extraordinarily better which is pretty cool so i mean like is your limits being ko i want to know 
Um, the direct ML media filters inside the currently unavailable Radeon software and the media gallery inside of those contents and the X split may experience some hangups and freezes when utilizing that. In that case, you want to probably want to utilize Radeon Live or OBS in any other situation uh, that would kind of fit your stream and needs. Uh, but looking at past that situation is we can kind of see the whole full content of what they have here. Okay, everyone, we've cleared the patch notes. We've gotten down to some pretty cool factoids of what people are praising this inside of there. Now, let's get down to the bare bone GPU tests. Now, this is fun because what you're looking at right here is a pre test. I ran because I saw what was what I thought was an April Fool's, then I saw mine, which is April 2nd. Now that I see it's filtering out to the 7th, it totally makes sense they're doing it in waves. With looking at this and what's going down for as far as the performance of what I did. Now, this changes almost instantly, but let's go ahead and take a closer look so you can kind of dial in those score changes. So this score pretty much is awesome. 93% with a coupled portion. You would think, well, how could it get better than that? And I'm going to tell you how. I updated my Windows and bam. Strange, right? Same update by AMD, but now I've seen Windows has completely altered and improved it. Not too shabby, right? But now let's go ahead and look what ends up happening as we go driver to driver. So as we kind of look in that situation for as far as looking at the differences, which I ran a second test just to confirm. So this is back to back after the Windows update. You can see that's a variable that is very normal for Firestrike within 30 to 50, even to sometimes to 75, you can almost outrule it. But when you look at the update with the current Windows update and the current AMD, you almost, sh well, you almost, well, give your britches a hard hustle because dang, that looks sexy. I mean, that is impressive from a broken Windows update to a polished windows update with a nice amd thing that's some nice 2100 club right there it gets better and there's more so with looking at the extreme we're looking at our direct x11 we're looking at the more extreme portion of 1080p at this portion where we're looking into and you can see this is the current windows update but the old os of amd so we're looking at the 20.3.1 right here that's what i usually reference for the old versus the new now looking at past what that can accelerate into, which is not that bad of a test, well, you're given this, which is the last one. This is last week's patch with the that current Windows update, so it looks pretty desirable, but when you go against that, you're like, damn, I'm losing. You know, like, what's going on here? Windows, I don't see the performance, but when you got AMD on your back, they're like, I gotcha. They did well. I mean, this wasn't super impressive when you compare it to the old one, but it definitely keeps up. And if there's stability on with that keeping up, well, I mean, that's a lot better than this. So make sure you update your Windows and update your AMD when you see it, because there's going to be some improvements. It's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and move on. Let's go ahead and dive into what we can possibly look into for as far as the ultra test. So with hot numbers like this, when you're looking at the last week's installment of AMD when they were giving us a really cool portion of the 20.3.1 not too bad current Windows update inside that time and well heck it's looking pretty good but when you go current Windows update and, uh, and well the 20.3.1 you see some decreasements but then you look at AMD and they're 20.4.1 and they're like we got your back dog but look at the difference right now the physics score is one of the bigger portions that slide forward as you can see that the graphics score back to back is almost about the same when you're looking at inside there and that's variable and within that that could just be like a core kind of working and hustling a little bit harder to make that gpu run so that's variable i mean those are almost identical in that situation so fire strike across the board hopefully it's giving you guys and y'all a lot more stability out there in game land now when we gather around the time spy entering the direct x12 realm we're looking at pixel graphic ratings from the portions of what we can have for the 20.3.1 the old school so the old school right here with the current win well it was pretty decent but when you go to current win but you know old school freaking amd it's not looking that good but when you look at the current one you can kind of see there's improvements but again this is kind of your 1080p that can kind of variable but you do see some new increasements here, but if it is coupled with stability and graphic 
enhancement mobile points of being able to play your games longer it's kind of a nice trade-off i'll take a maybe hit here and there but maybe they dialed in thermal consistencies that are being able to do really great jobs with the software and the hardware working in tandem um, but let's go ahead and take a final look at what's going to be our ultra is there giant improvements here in 4k and this is where, quite frankly, I say this is probably one of the best ones that it kind of pushed this boundary because when you see this last entry, you know the stats at this point in time. You look at right here, the next portion of us testing it with the current OS. And it, it just like, okay, that was, this is last week's, this is current. So we see a little bit of a drop, so maybe Windows did affect that, but when you see an improvement like this, you're just like, damn, that's 4K. You just moved a whole bunch of more pixels, and that, that's a solid improvement when you're looking at almost like a 50-point increasement for as far as the graphics score down below as well. So, I mean, you can definitely see the CPUs running in tandem with their synergy for what they have. But at that time, thank you so much for staying tuned for this tech-filled portion of update should you update when you see it i say absolutely from the feedback from amd themselves and the community from what i've been reading it's been really successful now if your graphics card doesn't meet the qualifications of being satisfactory leave a comment down below i would very much like to know everyone if you are new to the network too you can always join it's absolutely free it helps me out as a creator and you get all this really cool content that i keep pushing out when it comes down to drivers now, for as far as the situation of if you do, because I always love to leave the very ending with a very silly portion, who knows? Maybe, just maybe, I will, you know, actually become like a cowboy. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Like, I mean, no one's out there. I could just get a horse and then roam around. But I feel like I'd be yelling, Carl! Where's Carl? Okay, now I'm going off on a tangent of Walking Dead. But is where I'm going to leave you guys and gals. So have a very nice day. Stay safe out there. And remember, if we all move forward together, success will happen naturally. So I know we can all get through this. We're going to have a fun time. So enjoy the staycation, guys and gals. Enjoy the gaming. And this is your boy Max saying, have a nice one. I'll see you next time.